Hi guys, Ethan here, the guy with the pink gun. And as all of you know, I carry that pink shotgun around. It started off with just spray paint. I carried it out, taped some stuff off, hit that with some pink spray paint in the garage, and it didn't hold up worth a darn. We were introduced to, I started looking for a better option. We looked at dips. We even tried some other coating stuff. It all came off until we found Cerakote. Now, everybody that knows, the pink that we use is right here. This is actually referred to as prison pink. Yes. This company definitely has a sense of humor. I don't know 100% if I can tell where that humor comes from, but I like it. Now, we've got Ryan with us with Cerakote. He's gonna talk to us about why my gun started holding up better now that I've switched to a Cerakote coating. Okay, so uh, Cerakote, uh, the reason why I would say it is holding up a lot better than I guess your traditional spray on aerosol kind of paint. Yeah. Um, this is specially formulated design to perform under, uh, or it has multiple mechanical properties. So sure. number one being uh, corrosion protection, Okay. right? So that's probably why we're even putting Cerakote onto firearms, right? As yeah. for corrosion protection. But Cerakote doesn't apply just to that mechanical property. We also have things like lubricity. So which may protect your gun from marring, scratching, chipping, things like that. Yep. Uh, chemical resistance, again, firearms. Uh, sometimes it's exposed to chemicals from oiling, right, for to keep your firearm lubricated, things like that. Absolutely. But, I've seen with our gun, you know, anything that I put on it, and that was the way Ryan at FTW Coatings, that's the guy that actually does all of my guns for me. Okay. He said, you can put anything on this. Nothing's going to touch this stuff. You know, I mean, it's... Yeah, yep, it's extremely chemical resistant. Awesome. Yeah, so you could, uh, after, let's say, Cerakote is fully cured out, you could submerge it in acetone and brake cleaner, which is a pretty harsh chemical. Yep. And it's going to be impervious to it. So. so fully cured out, what is that process? I mean, most stuff you're spraying on and it dries. You're saying curing is this stuff. How does this stuff finish so, out? Yep. So Cerakote is a two-part system. Okay. It's, uh, it's a uh, composite polymer ceramic coating. Absolutely. Um, so because it's a two-part system, we have to catalyze it. So we add some resins to, uh, to be able to cure out the coating itself. So the curing process for this coating is a two hour uh, oven cure time at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, when I talked to him, he actually used a drastically lower heat because we were doing all wood. Exactly. He looked at me when I brought my shotgun in and he said, I can guarantee you this. I can't guarantee you that this won't break. <laughs> because of the baking, he said, we got to be a lot more careful. Yes. And yep. he threw some surcharges on top of that. But I got to tell you, I was very, very happy with the end results. Now, that baking process is the key, right? It is. It, it is the key to uh, truly solidify and cure out the coating uh, to its true potential as far as performance goes. That's awesome. Um, yeah. But so for, for instance, the wood that you worked with, yeah. uh, you do have to cure it out. Uh, and adjust the cure and temperature and time as well yep. for different materials like wood. I would assume that most metals are going to be a lot easier to work with than the wood themselves. Oh yeah, most definitely. Yes. <laughs> awesome. So I've heard that there are some new colors out. Can you show me which of those are new? Yes, there is. So down here, these seven new colors. So these are seven of the multicam colors that we have just recently released. I love that. That all looks like really good camo based colors. Yes, these are all kind of earth tone colors that you'll see. And now these fall into some of this here, right? Are these similar or is this different? Nope. Not these. So th these these parts here uh, have a different color on there. So this is uh, Noveski Bazooka Green H189 is what's on these parts here. Okay. That's where these parts here, these are uh, a different uh, color. Gotcha. Yeah. Cool. And another one of the newest colors that we have released is this high vis orange, the orange that you see right here in the, the center. That's awesome. And, and this this color in particular is designed to be fluorescent under a black light. Oh, yeah. interesting. Interesting. What's the, the main thought behind the black light aspect of things with showing up under black lights? Yeah, where that derived from, honestly, I can't tell you. Uh, <laughs> it, it, that's that's beyond me as far as, far as color creations goes. Yeah. 
Um, but I think it was mainly just kind of demand from the end users in the market. Very cool. Now, somebody else had said something about a blue, maybe this one here, is this one new? Uh, this one, I'm not 100% sure. This one I think is, is, is fairly new. So this is the polar blue. Polar blue. Yes. This is uh, the only reason I know this is when we stopped by, this is the one that Miss Cat was drawn to. I was yeah. like, oh, Ooh, I could be the girl with the blue guy. Yeah. You already are. Yeah, so th that is one of the newest colors that we have released. Uh, awesome. We've recently been released, uh, been coming out with uh, some new metallic colors uh, to add to the rest of the color palette that we have. That's very cool. So we can do coatings on stuff to go anywhere from silver, bronze, you can do blacks, um, any finishes that are going to be basically the same finish as the gun, but you're putting that insanely protective coating of Cerakote on there. Yeah, so I guess you would have traditional, like let's say bluing, Yeah. right? So we have an Elite Series color, uh, Elite Midnight. Okay. Um, so that would kind of replicate what you would want to get as far as bluing, but you get uh, very good protection from that. A buddy of mine just put some form of a black on because the shotgun was actually black. Um, it was a Benelli A28U, I think, and that top portion of that was black. And then some of the silvering, he threw black over top just so that it had a little less a shine to it. And I was like, buddy, you just took the one of the prettiest shotguns that I've ever seen and turned the whole thing black but he was afraid of the shine in the sun. Okay. Yeah, like what, my thoughts behind why he did that? No, just that he did that. <laughs> I don't know where we're going with that. The biggest thing is though, the coatings aren't always these bright colors, but you've got anywhere from bright colors to natural colors. Exactly. All right, so while we were doing this, we gotta throw one more thing in. We see this wicked looking robot arm back here spraying stuff. Ryan's gonna give us just the basics on what this process looks like. Yeah, so what our robotics programming or our robotic system is doing right now, it's running a, a demonstration of a part path program that's going to get coverage with Cerakote onto these particular parts. That's very cool. Yeah. And it's systematically, you can see that it rotates a little bit. It's spraying each side, each angle, and it's doing it probably almost better than a human could. Exactly, yep. and very consistently. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah, so this, what this is doing, this is... Uh, high volume application, um, and it's it's able to uh, give you the consistency in um, overall quality, and also it eliminates the human error aspect yep. of it. That was a big thing for Ryan. He said we have, and I don't remember the specifics, but it was this was the exact amount of thickness of Cerakote that we were putting on, and if anything goes outside of those tolerances, he's redoing it. That was his that was his thought process. So. Uh, even layers of coatings. Exactly. So even not gloopy, gloppy stuff on there. Exactly. Perfect finish. Exactly. Ryan, have you got anything else to add? Um, no, I mean, I think I just came here to answer all your questions. Hopefully I answered all your questions. Hey, thank you very much. All right. Appreciate your time. Thanks for coming by. We will catch you next time, guys. Mm -hmm.